Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with an unbelievably, incredibly great onion ring recipe. These are the most incredible onion rings ever. You know I'm normally pretty modest and humble. It's one of the things that makes me so awesome. But I have to say, these are incredible, best in the world. All right, so we're gonna start with some regular flour and cornstarch. So it's kind of similar to a tempura batter, basically. But there's my secret ingredient, instant mashed potatoes. Believe it. All right, a little cayenne. So I'm gonna whisk up the dry ingredients, and then I'm gonna add club soda. You have to get the exact amounts on food wishes. We're gonna stir that in, which is just gonna take a minute. By the way, don't worry about developing gluten or the batter's gonna be tough. It's not, this is unbelievable. Now it looks pretty thin there, but as it sits, the instant mashed potato, even though it's just a little bit, is gonna swell up and absorb some of that liquid. It's gonna be perfect. All right, we're gonna put some panko breadcrumbs, the other secret, in a shallow pan. You can get those in any store. Stop emailing me, you can't find panko. You can, big supermarkets have it. All right, I like to use not super big, but kind of medium yellow onions. Do not cut them any thicker than a quarter inch, otherwise they won't cook. Separate them into rings. I didn't really need to tell you that, right? All right, so there we go. This is only like 10 minutes later. Our batter has thickened slightly and it's perfect. We're gonna dump in a few rings at a time. Make sure they get coated with the batter, which is pretty much gonna drip off, but enough's gonna stick on there to latch onto these panko breadcrumbs, these sharp, incredibly crispy breadcrumbs. By the way, do as I say, not as you just saw me do. Use a separate fork for the crumbs and a separate fork to pull them out of the batter. Much easier. All right, we're gonna fry these and I'm not doing a deep fry demo. Just standard 350. I'm using olive oil, but any standard vegetable oil, frying oil is gonna work. It's gonna go maybe three, two and a half, three minutes. And when it comes out, that magic formula that I've come up with, with the potato and the panko, produces the most crispiest onion ring I've ever had, ever, anywhere. All right, now you can hear this. That's not fake sounds. That is the actual crunchiness. And now you just have to listen to this. I mean, come on, unbelievable. All right, that was really bland because there was no salt. Make sure you salt these generously before serving with some very fine sea salt so it sticks on there. And let me finish this. I know this is so rude, but come on, admit it. You want to hear it. And that's it. Super crispy, amazing onion rings. And here's really the ultimate test. Lots of different recipes are crunchy right when they come out of the oil, okay? The real test, does it stay crunchy? What you're gonna see and hear now is literally to the second, 15 minutes later. These sat on this rack for 15 minutes and this is what they sound like. Your Honor, I rest my case. Anyway, I hope you give it a try. Go to the site, all the ingredients are there, and as always, enjoy.